In today's video, we are going to cover a feature that directly improves how your website works for everyone, not just for people who can see it. Especially how to add area and data attribute in DB5. These attributes help screen readers understand your content and they let your scripts and analytics read important metadata without cluttering your HTML or classes. DB5 now lets you add these attributes visually right inside the builder. No code editing, no digging through templates. Just point, click and add. And I'm going to walk you through why attribute matters, how DB5 exposes them and practical examples for area labels and data attributes you can add right now. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. Now, if you want to deep dive into DB5 attributes and learn more about it, then we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post, I'm sure you will find it really helpful. Now attributes are more than tiny bits of HTML. They shape how assistive technology and script interpret your content. Area attributes tell screen readers what role our elements has or whether a toggle is on or off. Data attributes act as invisible labels for your JavaScript and analytics, so you know which button, section or feature drive conversions. Now, using attributes properly keeps role separate. Styling belongs to classes, functionality belongs in data attributes and accessibility belongs to area. That separation prevents accidental breakage when you change style or script. If you have been relying on hacks or extra visible text to get semantic behavior, attributes let you fix the root cause cleanly. Well, you might wonder, why not cram everything into classes? The short answer is maintainability and semantics. Now, classes should style, data attributes should pass data and area should express accessibility semantics. Now, mixing these responsibilities lead to fragile code and accessibility bugs. When functionality, presentation and accessibility are kept in their own lanes, updates become safer and your site becomes more reliable for assistive technologies. Now, DB5 introduces a dedicated attribute panel inside the Visual Builder. It replaces where CSS class and ID used to live in the advanced setting. Now, DB automatically migrates your old classes and IDs, but it also exposes a friendly add attribute control with presets such as class, ID, title, alt, rel, target, role, area label, and data. Now, there is also an option to type any custom attribute you need as long as the browser recognizes it. The builder even lets you target specific parts of a module, the wrapper, the icon, the text, so you can apply an attribute exactly where it matters. And finally, you can bundle attributes into an option group preset. That means you build a set of attribute once and use it anywhere you want. And that makes attributes a reusable, first class part for your design system. So let me show you the steps. First, open any module setting in your visual builder and look for attributes panel under advanced settings. Then go ahead and click on add attribute. Then choose from drop down or type a custom attribute name. There are two main workflows that I want to showcase here. Adding a rea attribute for accessibility and adding data attribute for scripts and tracking. Now for accessibility, area attribute are essential when native semantics aren't available. For example, let's say you want to label a video for screen reader users. For that, open video module, go to advanced, click on add attribute and choose a area label. Set an admin label you will remember later on. Then keep the target set to module. And in the attribute value, type something descriptive like gym walkthrough video. Now a screen reader will announce that content before playback and user will know what video is all about. Another example is a decorative icon. If the icon is purely visual and text already explains the content, add area hidden with a value of true on image or icon target that tells assistive tech to skip decorative element and focus on meaningful content. 
Targeting specific element inside a module keeps the screen reader experience focused and uncluttered. Now make sure you always prefer native HTML semantic first. Use ARIA only when you can't rely on semantic element. And when you do, add ARIA and then test it on real screen readers. Now data attributes are perfect for storing values your script is going to read later. For example, open a button module, go to attribute panel and add attribute and give it a value like footer CTA button. Then target the module. Your analytics script can then read that data attribute and tell you which button gets the most click and where the conversion happened. Now make sure you use consistent naming conventions, lowercase and hyphen separated words. Document what each attribute does so your team can maintain it later. The attribute sits invisible in the HTML until your JavaScript or analytics read it. So you can get clean markup and accurate tracking without messy URLs or overloaded class names. Heading attributes in DB5 is pretty straightforward, but testing and organization is essential. First, make sure you test with screen readers like NVDA on Windows and voiceovers on Mac. Tab through pages and listen to how elements are announced. Try turning your monitor off and navigate by audio to discover confusing or missing label quickly. Along with that, make sure you keep attributes organized. Use convenient naming, group, area attributes together and document each custom attributes in a reference file. A clear documentation prevents confusion months down the line. And finally, avoid common mistakes. Do not add redundant area roles to semantic elements like button. Typos like area-label will be ignored by a screen reader. Do not set area-hidden as true on focusable elements. Otherwise, keyboard users will land on items that screen readers going to skip. Creating an inaccessible experience. Along with that, maintain parent-child area relationship correctly and avoid area label when visible text already describe the element. Attribute used to be hidden in code and many sites skip them. With DB5, attributes are now first class in the builder. Add area attributes to make your site accessible. Add data attribute to cleanly power scripts and analytics. And save attribute presets to apply across your site. Open the attributes panel on your highest traffic pages and start by labeling critical interactive elements and tracking high value CTAs. It's going to take minutes and make a meaningful difference for users and for your analytics. And if this video helped, make sure you check out the full blog post that we're going to link in the video description below for step-by-step -step visuals and more examples. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.